friends, and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal, and in today's video, I am going to be taking you guys through a flip through of my 2019 December Daily albums. Now, if this is the first time that you are coming across my December Daily uh, projects here, one thing to know right up front is that I am a two album girl. So that means that I split my December Daily Stories into two albums that look exactly the same, and I just label them as one and two. Um, I do this because I super enjoy working outside of the page protectors, and I love working with dimension and texture and interactivity, and a lot of that does take up space. So that is something to know ahead of time before we get into this album. Now, this album right here, this is 2019, so last year uh, as of the current recording date today, and um, this was my second December Daily album that I was participating in. When I created my 2018 album, it was the first real project that I was completing getting back into scrapbooking after a very long hiatus. So this one, by the time I created my 2019 album, I had a year under my belt of working with product and working with uh, paper and figuring out my own personal style. So this one is going to look quite a bit different from my last year's album. So let's go ahead and just jump on in. First of all, this year I started with putting a quote on the inside cover. This I did with some adhesive backed, um, not vellum, vinyl that I cut on my silhouette. However, it is really small and I already can see that I've lost a couple of letters. I'm missing an E for the word little and I'm missing the C on the word Grinch. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, I think if you do something like this, you might want to make sure that whatever it is you're cutting is maybe a little bit thicker. I might try something like this again this year. We'll see. So if I do, I will test out the uh, making it thicker and seeing if that solves that problem. So for my title page this year and for the my album in general, I wanted to create an album that was that like married the classic look with with the more fun non-traditional look, maybe even modern, you might say. So I used both Ally Edwards products and Feature Craft products in addition to some bits and pieces that I just had floating around in my stash. Now I did not purchase the uh, the main kit that particular year, so this would have again just like 2018 been from the mini kits that I purchased so let's jump in so I've got this gold polka dot uh, acetate or transparency that I purchased from gosh it would have been either Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby uh, I actually went last year on a hunt to go find as many different kinds of transparencies as possible because I did not buy the transparency pack from Allie Edwards they were just not quite the style I wanted to go for that year so I went around to find what I could from the stores that are near where I live so I have this polka dot one which on one side is gold and the other side is silver I added my 19 for 2019, a little holly uh, puffy sticker here, and bring on the Mary. The puffy sticker came from Future Craft, and I bring and bring on the Mary from Allie Edwards. Underneath, I have this six by eight paper. Uh, paper that I put inside a page protector that says season's greetings. This came from Feed Your Craft as well as the puffy stickers that I added on and then I have December memories right under that. Now I did line those up so that when the transparency is on top it just says bring on the Mary so you're not getting more than one chipboard piece. When you move it it gives there a little bit of a title on the page itself. On the back side I did my reason why. Um, Again, I, I like filling this out to remind me that this is about being intentional, that this is about helping me pay attention to what we're doing. It's to help me celebrate the magic um, and to tell our stories, to document the reason why we do the things that we're doing throughout the month of December. The next page that I have here is uh, two cards from Feed Your Craft. Oh, by the way, this is a digital file that I got from Allie Edwards. I just recolored it to match the page uh, that I wanted it to, to butt up next to. But this you can find in her shop. So uh, this one, I added the most wonderful time of the year, added some die cuts and puppy stickers on there. And then there was this little uh, six by four calendar that I added to the bottom and I just stamped some uh, 
like icons in it to help represent different things that happened throughout the month. So getting started, for December 1st, I decided to tell the story of getting our Christmas tree. This is a story that makes its appearance in every album I create. Well, at this point, it's been two albums, but it will be in album three as well. So the theme for a lot of the, um, what do I want to say, a lot of the pages last year were based off of the product play lessons, which were hexagons, numbers, and something else. Hexagon, numbers, and that that last one will come to me as we're going through this. Oh, and wreaths. That's what it was. Hexagons, um, numbers, and wreaths. So I took the hexagon idea and I ran with it in order to create a really modern looking Christmas tree here. And then I added little pictures throughout it just of us getting our tree in general. I've got the picture of our tree on top of the car, which is uh, momentous because the previous year we drove off with it inside of our car instead of on top. Uh, so we are growing and learning every year how to do things the right way. And sometimes there is a wrong way and driving around with the Christmas tree stuffed inside your car with you, your husband, and your two kids is maybe the wrong way. <laughs> For day two, I talked about going to see Santa. So I have this large photo uh, of our family. I just added this little magic word, which is a fabric sticker on there. This is in front of the house that we, there's like a little Santa, um, train ride and cottage that you can go visit to see Santa at our local um, our local orchard here where we live. The only problem with it is that the Santa there is not the warmest and friendliest. So we will not be going back there uh, this year or probably any year because we know for a fact that uh, the Santa is just not the best Santa. I then cut out with my uh, silhouette a Christmas wreath cut file from Paige Evans and I backed it and I cut that twice and backed it. Then I added that to a transparency here so that um, you could see through to the other side and then when it flips over it frames all of us in here and I just I love the way that that looks. So um, this was a super tedious thing but I did prep it ahead of time so it was done before the month of December even started and I love that it's a play on the idea of wreaths. It's not necessarily greenery but it is a wreath and I think it just is really super cute. So I've got the picture of us with Santa, a uh, picture of Jonah outside, and then some journaling talking about how Izzy did not like Santa. Uh, and that it was actually kind of a rough day for all of us. And that happens, um, which I think will be good over the years to have this in there, just as a reminder that sometimes things don't work out the way you want them to. And I don't think there's any shame in feeling sad that they don't work out the way you want them to. But it, there also is... Um, it also helps you to reframe that, I think, to journal about it. It helps you to come to terms with sometimes that's okay, that things don't work out. For day three, uh, I'm documenting our letter to Santa. So every year, the kids, or for now, Izzy, but this year, Jojo will too, uh, the kids write a letter to Santa, and I always keep them. Um, these are copies of the letters. Uh, and this one is the first time that Izzy ever wrote a letter herself. So I have it in here. It's got like her handwriting and her drawings and stuff on it. It's just the cutest. So I'm just, I'm so pleased to have this in here and preserved for years to come because it just, it's precious. So this one, I created a pocket uh, using some specialty paper. I punched out a, a hole here uh, because I wanted to use this wreath element, um, which I only adhered at the top of this cardstock so it can latch onto the envelope in order to put it in and take it out of the pocket itself. So then we can go ahead and put this back in the pocket. And then the wreath sits right inside of, 
of that cutout. And I just love the way that that works. So I've got some die cuts on here just to let me know that this is a letter to Santa. I've got Izzy writing it, a journaling card over here, and then my own personal letter to Santa, which is something I do every year. Last year, the, in 2018, I did um, like a list form wish list. This year, I wrote a letter to Santa for 2019 and then in 2020 I actually have already shared my letter to Santa page. It's not complete because I don't have the pictures or Izzy stuff but my letter to Santa is already complete and in there. For day four I am documenting our home decor. I used a, a layer template that Ali uh, had designed and was was on her website for that particular year. It says holiday home. And I added my journaling just on Photoshop, uh, talking about decorations and how I love, I love decorating my house for the holidays. Again, hexagons were the theme. So uh, this was an idea I came up with. Um, the previous year, I did a circle to document a, a wreath from my home. This year, I wanted to do a wreath again and have the big wreath open up. But since we were working with hexagons, I thought, why not do half of a hexagon and use triangles to add different sections? So I've got like a picture of our mantle, a picture of the wall above my couch, and then to have it open up and have a big picture of one of my other wreaths. So this is probably one of my favorite, I don't know, I have a lot of favorites from my last year's December Daily album. Uh, I really, really, really wish that I had had a YouTube back then so I could say I had processed videos for all of these, but I don't. I started my YouTube this January, so... I don't have any of these as process videos. It's just a flip through, but I'm so excited that this year I do get to share everything with a process video. So thank goodness for that. Then uh, the backside, I have the same thing with the triangles. I've got a picture of our re of our wreaths of our stockings. And then a picture of a Santa from uh, my Santa wreath. Then I've got a few more pictures over here. Um, some cards, some older cards, I think from Ellie's studio maybe. Or they could have been from that year, Ellie's studio. I don't really remember. Uh, and then just pictures of us decorating the tree. For day five, I decided to start a new uh, annual story. So every year, I want to tell the story of one childhood Christmas memory. And so this year, I actually told uh, more than one. I think I have five in here. Some of them are from me. So I've got three from me. And then I have two from Aaron. I have pictures of me and my siblings as kids on Christmas, and then I have pictures of my husband and his family um, for Christmas photos as well. And I just love, I love being able to look in here and uh, now that this is going to be an annual storytelling prompt, I am excited to have the opportunity to document some of these older memories and see what other memories it brings up in the process. So that is that. Uh, this all was from the Feed Your Craft release from last year, um, including this over here. I did add a Tim Holtz little token that says the number five on it as my um, number. So it says five stories of Christmas's past. And that was pretty much it for that page. For day six, I am documenting a very special uh, ornament craft that I created with my daughter and her best friend. So uh, my grandmother on my mom's side, uh, who we were extremely close with, passed away, I think it's been about 10 years now, 10 years ago, um, at a very young age and unexpectedly. So my grandma and I uh, as I have grown up, I have learned that we have a lot of things we share in common. One of those things is that we are both very organized people. And another one of those things is that we both really love crafting and putting together these special little things to do with our family members. So when my grandpa was selling his house last winter, we went over to help him kind of clear things out and, you know, pack him up and move him out and take stuff to Goodwill because they had lived in that house for 30 years. So they had a lot of stuff. While we were cleaning things out, I found a bin. I wonder if I have a picture. I don't. I found a bin of supplies for a craft that my grandma had had uh, designed or thought up of or just put together to create with all of her grandchildren. 
and it was a snowman craft using um using like foam balls and she had everything she had the little hats and the holly and the little uh like buttons for the eyes and everything to go with it and i knew as soon as i found it that i needed to bring it home bring all the supplies home and make the craft with my kids that uh, she may have passed on before she could make it with us, but her craft was passed on to her her great-grandchildren who she never had the opportunity to meet. So it's just one of those things that like you get chills and it's just a special story to tell. And I love this project because I can include stories like that in it that just like touch your heart and remind you of the love from your family. So for this one, I used a lot of product from the Feed Your Craft Kit. Um, and the Allie Edwards release last year had these really large wood veneer numbers. And uh, I believe it was Morgan's Lesson from the numbers section of uh, Product Play, Product Play 3. She made this interactive element with the number eight. So I took it for number six. I added this uh, like hat on top, which was a, a digital file from Allie, put some paper in the background and a star, and then you can pull this out to reveal a photo of the snowman craft that we made. And then uh, the backside just has, it's there's nothing really like crazy about the back. It's just paper to cover it in. Uh, and then the inside or the back side I covered in paper and added a Mary and Bright. So that is this one. I think it's really fun and interactive. Uh, and then I've got more pictures of me doing this with the kids. For day seven, I documented my husband's holiday party for his work. Uh, this is a flip up, so it just flips up to reveal my journaling underneath. I've got our photo booth picture for the year and then a couple of other pictures. I used this photo strip one and I just added photos to the photo strip. This was a pattern paper that came with the Feed Your Craft kit that year. Added a little bit of journaling uh, and called that one good. For day eight, I am telling the story of Hallmark of our Hallmark Movie Marathon. So this was an idea from the Product Play Class 2. This was one of Allie's projects. Um, I added this Hallmark Movie Marathon acrylic on top of this little flap. And when you open it up, it shows the three new movies that we watched this year. They actually were Netflix movies. They weren't technically Hallmark, but uh, they were all still super good and very Hallmark-y. So that one goes in here. I have a picture of me with my Hallmark movie shirt, some journaling here, and then last year we discovered, um, it's so funny, we discovered one of those like fake robot makes a story, like it's one of those like a robot watched 1,000 hours of Hallmark movies and then wrote a script for a Hallmark movie. Well, I thought it was hilarious, so I typed it all out, the whole thing, added it to this little tag flip, and then put it in here with, uh, is there a sequel? Um, if you have not ever, if you are a Hallmark movie watcher or a Hallmark movie skeptic, I definitely recommend looking that up because it, like, I cry laughing every time I read it. It's the funniest thing I've ever read. So, um, for day nine, I'm talking about the ornaments that we, uh, that we got for our kids and ourselves for the year. Every year we pick out an ornament and it's for something significant that year. So I have a picture of all of them with our names by it. So you can see whose is what. A little bit of journaling here. And then I made this interactive um, spinner that is an ornament here. Uh, the first little bobble here has journaling about the ornament and why the ornament was purchased. This is just the spinner portion that makes this whole mechanism work. And then uh, the second little, or the third one, has a picture of the ornament in it. Uh, just so you can see, the back side is the exact same. There are just no windows. So it closes it all in and makes it look like an ornament. Then when you turn this, it'll pull a new photo and a new journaling into place. So I have it where it does it for all four of our ornaments for that year. So Erin had dice. 
uh, because we wanted to represent his love of board games. I have a camera because I was really starting to do a lot more photography and journaling and scrapbooking. Izzy had a unicorn because it's the thing that she was obsessed with that year. And Jonah had a slice of pizza because that boy is obsessed with food. So um, <laughs> that was our ornament pick for the year and a really fun way to document it. A really fun way to document it. Um, again, and again, I don't have a process video for it because I didn't have a YouTube back then. So I'm really sorry about that, but maybe by just seeing it, it might give you an idea of how to make something like that work. Then I've got a picture of the four of us with the this large wreath that they have at the front of the, um, the store called Bronner's in Michigan. It's in um, Frankenmuth, which is a German town here in the state of Michigan. And um, they have the largest Christmas store in the state. So we go there every year to pick out our ornaments, except for, of course, 2020, we will not be going there. Uh, for day 10, I documented 10 things I am loving. This is a story that I will be doing as a repeat in my albums moving forward and always on day 10 because I love, you know, 10 for 10. That On the 10th, I'm documenting 10 things that I love. So I created, um, I like, I literally looked these things up online, saved the images, erased the backgrounds to get them to be white around them, and then... Um, added them onto a page with this has my heart um, and then numbered them one through 10. So the one through 10 numbers match up to the one through 10 journaling over here, which is why I am loving those things. Uh, this was included as part of, I can't remember if this was part of the, um, if this was part of the prep party from last year or if this was part of the product play. I want to say that this was from the prep party from 2019. Uh, so where you got the cut file and this printable. So then I've got um, a picture of me holding up a one zero and arrow zero zero because also on this day uh, on my Instagram, I had hit a thousand followers, which was a really big deal. Uh, and so I have that documented in here. So I know how long ago, you know, or at what point I got to that point. For day 11, I am documenting my wrapping paper. So I love documenting my wrapping paper because I love wrapping presents. And this year, I wanted to add in some samples. So I have a picture of the rolls. I have um, some journaling about wrapping. And then I have a top-down photo of the presents that I had wrapped that year. Then on this side, I had this all wrapped up. Now this came from Feedercraft, this particular paper. I put it on another piece of paper and then I stapled on the ribbons that I used that year. And then I also have samples of the uh, wrapping paper that I chose for that year as well. So that was a really fun one. Next, I am documenting a super fun project that Izzy and I did together last year. We are doing it again this year. Uh, I, I always document an advent on the 12th. And um, what happens as I'm documenting it is I usually get day one through 12 done. And then at the end of the at the end of the month, I will do the second 12 things and they all go in here. So for this one, I used the two by two pockets. This was, I believe, a from in a creative bubble and I just um, resized it, added a photo of what the bags all looked like together and doc and wrote some journaling about creating this project for Izzy. So Izzy with me did a December daily last year for the first time. Um, I may do a follow-up video just to show you what her album looks like as well. So maybe I'll add that as a second video today in case you want to see it. Um, so the way that it worked is every day she opened up a baggie of materials for a specific story for her to tell and I typically would print a photo for her the night before. Uh, sometimes there was a photo and sometimes she would just draw her own picture for the day. Things like um, day one was our family, day two our tree, day three Santa, four wish list, five decorations, six favorite memories. So a lot of them kind of sort of matched what I was documenting but but possibly in a different way. And underneath I have a photo 
of her finished page. So when I was setting this up, I did go ahead and add in all these little bits and pieces, some some sequins, some uh, ephemera pieces, some of the like like textured pieces, wood veneer, whatever you know I thought would be really cute in these particular pockets. When I set this up, because I took pictures of all of these before December happened, um, I could go ahead and print off the flip portion because this is just, it's just um, a flip up. So it's got a, oh my gosh, I just realized I never even finished the photos in these. Oh, you guys, I'm going to have to go in and do that now. <laughs> so, okay, see, see, I didn't quite finish it at the end there, did I? So that's something I'm going to have to go in and add. So, but this is how I set it all up so that uh, now all I have to do is go on my computer and find those photos, print them in two by twos and add them into the pockets. Uh, so I do have up to the 12. I don't even have 12. My goodness. Well, I'm glad I did this flip through so I could, so I could see I never finished it. Wow. Uh, anyway, then I have a picture of Izzy holding up her last year album. Um, and it's just a super cute picture. I turned it black and white and added a red December memories on top. This next page is one of my absolute favorites from last year. Uh, I wanted to create a wreath that looked like it was hanging on a portion of a door or on a cupboard or something like that. And I wanted the middle of the wreath to be a picture of our lights on the house. So this page, I'm going to tilt it and hopefully you can see all the texture that's on it. It's actually a really, it's really thick because it's, there's foam in there that helps these portions stand up and give shadow and dimension to what's underneath. For the wreath portion, I cut this out of a chipboard and then I wrapped it in ribbon all the way around um, and and attached my photo to the back and attached the whole thing on top of this panel. Then I took a piece of ribbon and just went up and around so it's tucked in between the two pages. I made my own bow just with a like a template basically um, that I found on maybe on Pinterest just by searching like bow template like paper bow template. Um, these poinsettias were a set of stickers from Michael's and then I've got grateful for this in the middle of it and the word magical at the bottom. So this is all about putting up Christmas lights and I just love the way that this turned out. It's so cute. Over here I've got a picture of Izzy with the actual lights and then journaling about putting the lights up on our house. For day 14, uh, I documented my brother-in-law and sister-in-law taking our kids to the Jingle Fest celebration that year. We actually had a party the same day, I believe, and we couldn't go to this event. So they took the kids for us. Uh, most of the products are going to be from Feed Your Craft. I've got uh, some journaling here, and then I just instructed them to take a bunch of photos while they were there. And so then once I got home, I went ahead and printed them out. These three by eight templates come from In a Creative Bubble. This one says so much joy, and the backside says merriment this way, and lets me add in a bunch of photos here. Then I've got this vellum that says these wonderful things are the things we remember through all our lives. You turn that, and then there's a picture of the tree that lights up in our town, and I added some pom-pom trim in between to give a little bit more texture. So I love the way that this all layers down to create all of this like dimension here as well. On the back side of that, I have a picture of my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and the kids in front of the tree with the word twinkle and a star. These come from Colorcast Designs. And then uh, some final pictures here from the event. I was so bummed that we missed it, and now this year there's not going to be one. It's just, man, what a bummer. For the back side, I just kept it simple, added in some pattern papers, and called that good. So this brought us all the way up to day 14. I'm going to go ahead and put this one to the side, and then I will pull over volume 2 for 2019. So next we're moving on to volume two. 
On the inside cover of this one, I just put a wood acrylic that says, or a wood veneer that says December 2019. That was from, I believe, Ellie Studio last year. Then I did the same thing again with the uh, adhesive backed vinyl and I cut out the it's Christmas time this was a digital download that was included in the prep day from 2019 um, if you have never participated in one of the prep day parties I highly recommend it they are a five dollar they are five dollars for 12 hours of content and a 12 a minimum of 12 digital downloads that you can then use to create your own things like this so that is where this one came from I layered up some stars, called that good for an intro, and then we jump right back in. So this page, which is day 15, is all about going to Wild Lights. So this is an event that our zoo here throws where they decorate the whole zoo with Christmas lights and Christmas light shows and all those things. It's fabulous. It's one of our favorite events of the year. So I did another one of the layer templates from Allie, added, uh, I changed some of the colors around to match more of the lights from uh, the photo, put some journaling in the bottom. And then um, one of the lessons from Product Play 3 by Pam Bald, was it Pam? No, it might've been, it might've been Lisa, Lisa Varshine, who is Freckle Pickle. Uh, she did one of these, not it's a, I want to call it a transparency. That's not what it is. This is a page protector that is sectioned off in a hexagon using photos and sequins. So um, I wonder if I've got a piece of paper so you can see this a little bit better. We'll go like this. So um, you can see that there are photos here, sequins, sequins, and sequins. And then on the back side, there are additional photos uh, from that day. So you can see that here as well. I love the way that that turned out. She used glitter in hers and I just had the hardest time using glitter. So I used sequins and some of them I even cut in half in order to make them fit better because really what I wanted was the shimmer and uh, the color. Then I've got a picture of Erin, Izzy, Jonah, and I in, in front of like this large ornament light display. So that is that and that completes day 15. For day 16, I'm talking about our little gingerbread village that we made here at our house. It's so stinking cute. I love this picture so much. So then I've got a layer template from Allie with Izzy holding up one of her gingerbread cookies because we did the house and the cookies. Uh, every year we make gingerbread cookies. They are our family recipe and they are the best gingerbread cookies I've ever had. Um, so I've got the uh, some extra pictures on the back. Um, this baking one, which is adorable from Feed Your Craft. More pictures of the gingerbreads. And then I have this flip up. This little cut file here came from Paige Evans. It's like a gingerbread house, uh, like village or something like that. It flips up. I just put it on acetate. And there is my recipe for our rolled gingerbread cookies, which are so good. So my recipe is now preserved in my album for all time, which is amazing. The next one is a story that I tell every year about uh, one of our ornaments on our tree. Since there was the theme of wreaths, I decided to do this awesome textured wreath uh, on a piece of acetate. So to create this, I have a cut file from Paige Evans that is flowers and leaves that you can use to create like dimensional leaves for, or dimensional flowers and leaves for um, scrapbooking. And I took it and I took the leaves and sized them way down and then cut out hundreds of them. I don't know, it was so many of them in four different shades of green. Then I layered them all up to create this frame trimmed my acetate underneath it so that it was only attached and I also attached these with brads as well so that um, that would help to hold some of it and and it looks like holly or holly berries which I liked as well and then I did the same thing for the back so it's on both sides it's really dimensional it's really like colorful I just again one of my favorite pages the acetate in between it I get from Amazon. It's called Graphics, and it is an inkjet printable uh, material. So I printed out the story of this particular ornament on the acetate. 
So this one here, um, I, I just, I love telling ornament stories because they're all so special. This one was one that I received as a little girl from my grandmother, um, my grandma who passed away. And um, she gave me it. It's a it's a huge ornament of a giraffe. And it's so interesting because giraffes are my daughter's favorite animal. So um, I talk in my journaling about how how pulling this out and now, you know, it's the one that she always goes for to put on the tree because she loves giraffes. Um, how it's almost like my grandma who has, who she passed long before Izzy was ever born. Uh, it's almost like she was giving me an ornament that would, that like had a purpose of someday becoming my daughter's ornament. Like it's like one of those chill, like chills things that like this was for me, but really, really it was for her. Um, so yeah, it's, yeah, it's very special. So again, I love having those in here. I'm very excited to tell this year's ornament story because they are one of my favorites. Next, I'm telling the story of uh, the movies we watched. I actually recently just did this in my October daily, uh, but that was not the first time I had ever used the viewfinder before. I The first time I used it was in here. So I have all of the movies that we watched during Christmas. I layered it up in the middle, added one of those uh, pleather pieces on here, and I had this watch acrylic piece. So I added that at the top. Then on this side, I've got our favorites stamped onto the VHS cassette. And I talked about the journaling, or I journaled about watching the videos, watching the movies um, that year and why that meant so much to me. For day 19, I wanted to do a story about uh, like documenting our current lease. So this this portion right here came from Pam Baldwin's lesson within Product Play 3. Uh, so she shows how to create these, these like foldable star elements that are just amazing. I turned mine into a pocket. And then inside of the pocket, I have these tags. So all of us got our ugly sweaters on and took a picture. So there's like Aaron. And then on the back, I had him fill it out. So like his name, his age what he's thankful for, and what he's hoping for. And I did that for all of us. So there's Jonah, who's like so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Uh, there's mine for December and my stuff. There's Izzy's, who's also just adorable. And then we also included our cat, Mr. Dibs. So he has his own in here as well as his information for that particular year. So I've got all five of us in here which is fun because we have since adopted another kitten. So uh, his name is Pumpkin. So Pumpkin will definitely make it into the album this year, which is fun because that's something that's different than last year. For day 20, I have that I am documenting our um, preschool party that Izzy had. So our preschool holiday party. I've got some photos over here. Um, this, I believe I made myself by just adding a black piece at the top and this make Mary at the top. I'm pretty sure. And then there is this hexagon booklet, which I'm going to try and get out of here without bending it because it's tight in there. Um, there we go. So inside of the hexagon little thing is another hexagon that you pull out. And then this is the one, I can't remember whose lesson this was from. It may have, it may have also been Pam. Uh, so this one folds out and shows a whole bunch of pictures from that particular day with journaling in the middle talking about the party itself. So then it just all folds right back up. The uh, backside I have with the pattern paper so that it can fit right back into that pocket on the page. So that is day 20, which turned out super cool. Day 21 is about our scavenger hunt every year, uh, starting in 2018. Um, we do a scavenger hunt at the mall. Uh, and this year, I I always put together the scavenger hunt. This year, we based it off of movies. We have to find 12 different things, and they each of those things has to come from a different store. So... Um, I've got uh, this portion, which this was from the prep party last year for sure. 
and it was a printable with this little spinner thing on here. I love the way it looks. And when you flip it up, I've got my journaling underneath on the top. Uh, and then a picture of all of us, some additional pictures here where I did some journaling. This was our uh, scavenger hunt list, which I just designed it like this, knowing I wanted to use it in my album. So each of us got one of these uh, when we did the scavenger hunt. And uh, then I've got the pictures of us with all of the items that we had to find. So they're all in here, our selfies, and then one picture of us as we were leaving for the day. So yes, this is a super fun event that we love, love, love to do. We are still going to do it this year, but in a different way since we are not going to the mall. For day, what day is this? Day 22, uh, I am documenting our new cups for the year. We love collecting holiday cups for Christmas and for uh, Halloween. So we made some coffees and hot cocos and filled up our cups and I took a picture of them to include in here. I created this shaker file, which I believe was originally an idea from, hmm, it might have been from Erica, who is like Aerie, Aerie something on uh, Instagram. It may have come from her first. May have also been Dearly D. Uh, somebody else did this first. This was not my idea. I just borrowed it. I scrap lifted it to use it in my album because I loved it. So this is a piece of page protector that is um, that is fused in certain areas to make it look like a coffee mug. And I just think it's super cute. And then I've got a couple of additional photos and cards over on the right. For day 23, this is an annual event that we throw. Uh, it's called Christmas Adam. It's a holiday party that Erin and I host. And uh, we call it Christmas Adam because it comes before Christmas Eve. And Adam comes before Eve, uh, it, you know, in the Bible. So it's just kind of a play on, play on history, I suppose. So um, we have pictures of all the people at our event, me and Erin. Uh, this was from the In a Creative Bubble release that year. Then I talked about the things that, uh, the, the most popular things from our White Elephant Exchange. So with, there was a Harry Potter Clue game, this, um, <laughs> this like foot massage booby prize, which was hilarious that everybody wanted it. A giant Twix bar and a Chewbacca onesie. Those were the hot ticket items from last year. Then I've got uh, some additional pictures over on the right of us doing our things from the particular party. And that is that. Day 24, I am documenting Christmas Eve. Um, for this one, I have my journaling over on the left with the number we celebrated Christmas Eve with my family last year. So I, then I've got this Twas the Night Before Christmas because it's the night before Christmas. I cut slits out so you can open that up and see my Christmas tree behind it, or you can just leave it there if you want on top. Then when we move that to the opposite side, I did this page, which was uh, one of the ideas from Morgan Beale from her Product Play 3 lesson from last year about numbers. So this one swivels up and you have the numbers one, two, and three, which pertain to one, two, and three. So this story goes with this picture. This story goes with this picture. And then this story goes with this picture. So this was a really fun way to tell a couple of different stories in an interactive fashion, which is one of my favorites. Then to finish up Christmas Eve, we uh, took a ton of ridiculous selfies. So I put those on one of the layer templates from Allie that says, let your heart be light. Then I, it flips open to reveal some of the cookies that we made together. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. The cookies that we made together that night, I've got a journaling card from probably from Inner Creative Bubble that year. And then I have this page, which is super cool, um, which I wanted, I had this clock element that I wanted to add, like saying the clock strikes midnight and it's Christmas day was my idea. So I, I did this like layered vellum and, um, layered vellum and cardstock and pleather. I did the same thing with the slits where it all opens up. And then on top, I've got this clock. 
which I just found this uh, by searching for a clock PNG online. And then this lets me, you know, do the hands for the clock on here. So I have it as the clock strikes midnight and us uh, with a picture reading the night before Christmas. So that is that one. And then we move into Christmas Day. So for Christmas Day, I did this shaker wreath. I want to say that this was from Laura Wanzik from last year's Product Play, uh, Product Play 3 class on wreaths. I added the 25 on top and then, um, you know, the other wreath is on the back side. So I've got a picture of the four of us in front of our Christmas tree with the good cheer acrylic piece from Colorcast Designs last year. On the back side of that, I have the December snapshots, which this was a page from Feed Your Craft, and then a few additional pictures of waking the kids up in the morning and talking about actually having to go wake them up. Uh, we celebrated Christmas Day with my husband's family, so I have pictures of us uh, with my father-in-law. Uh, this is a picture of all of the women in our family as the sun was setting at my mother-in-law's house and then uh, Jonah in his pit, his ball pit that he got that year. So that would have been the end of uh, the 2019 daily stories. But this year I decided to add two bonus pages in. The first is a gratitude page. Uh, this was one from Allie in her hexagons lesson from Product Place. So each of these opens, they untie, and these have four things that we are thankful for. So I had Aaron tell me four things that he was thankful for. I wrote down four things that I am thankful for, uh, four things for Izzy and four things for Jonah. And it was just a really good way to wrap up the the December year or this the December season and the 2019 year by ending with gratitude. The last thing that I always like to include in all of my albums is a mini album for our elf, Mary, who comes to be with us from December 1st until December 24th. So for this one, I used an idea from Allie that was all about wreaths and using stars to create a wreath. So for this one, uh, I created this element. It opens up. It's got a few little bits and pieces from Feed Your Craft from last year. And then it pulls open to show all of the places where Mary was throughout the course of the month. So from one to six on the first one, seven to 12, 13 to 18, and 19 to 24. So it just shows us everywhere that she was throughout the month uh, and ends with that on top. And then the backside is just some paper with the word joy. So, and did I make this a pocket? Looks like I made that a pocket, but I never put anything inside of it, which that's funny. I think I was going to put some extra photos in here if I wanted to, but I didn't end up doing that. So that's quite okay with me. So anyway, you guys, that completes my 2019 December daily flip through. Um, I am so excited to be here on YouTube this year as I am working through December daily 2020. My plan is to do daily videos throughout the month of December, likely from the 1st all the way until the 23rd. And then I will usually, I take off the 24th and the 25th to enjoy my time with my family. And I will finish up my album between the 26th and the 27th. So you will definitely have some process videos to look forward to this year. I also will be continuing my Thursday live videos. So Thursdays, I will be doing my December daily product uh, pages page live with you guys. Uh, they probably won't take very long because I like to have a lot of foundation pages already done. So I have some other projects lined up that are December related as well to work on with you during those live videos. But if all you care about is the pages in this particular album, then I definitely recommend checking out the live videos um, to see the very first bit where I'm working on 
on the page for the day. So that's that. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed these flip throughs of this one and the one from earlier in the week from my very first album. I cannot wait to get started working on these albums again. And I am just so, so pleased to have you guys right along with me as I'm doing these. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see all of my future crafty videos. That was my cat running around like a maniac. Um, and if you have any questions about any of the pages, please let me know in the comments down below and I will do my best to get back to you and hopefully answer whatever question you might have. Uh, until next time, today is Saturday, I believe. So uh, I will be back again on Monday with some more December stuff for you. So until then, I hope that you have a fantastic day, a wonderful weekend, and I will catch you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye now.